Well, it's time for screams, thrills, and maybe even some zombies. Not October just yet, but it is the first week of Shocktoberfest. WFNC's Alexandra Hogan's in Sinking Spring. Good morning, Alexander. Good morning. It's hard to believe that it's already time to get ready for Halloween and all that comes along with it. But with me this morning, I have Patrick Konopelski, who is the owner of Shocktoberfest. Good morning. Good morning. So we're standing in a pretty somber place where you're in the middle of an escape room. So what is an escape room? We'll show you what that is this morning. So basically, people are locked in a room. Roughly how many people? About 8 to 10. And they pay to do this. Yes, they do. <laughs> they pay to be locked in, and the point is to get out in 45 minutes to an hour. So all they have are clues. So see, these are some of the clues. So one of them that I'm going to read for you this morning, see if you can figure it out. What three numbers between one and five will give you the same number when timed or added together? So think about that for a little, just, just to resonate with you. But then there's these clues throughout the room. So tell me the basic understanding of what this escape room is. So our themed escape room is you're in the prison of the dead and you were wrongly convicted of a crime and your buddy Tony who was in before with you he left clues along the way for you and your group to escape. You follow those, if you get out in an hour you survive, if not the warden's coming back and you're going to be executed. So. so you definitely have something you're trying to avoid. It's a good bonding death. way, definitely you avoid you're a bonding through, the, through a Escaping death. Okay, so that number that we would have been adding up or that we're trying to find was? Uh, one, two, and three. So Those three numbers. And one. you get six. Six. Okay, so you would save that number. Then also, here's another one that we have. This is what you want to look for, and it says fishes, mummies, world. So you're looking in this room for anything that resembles that, and we found these books. Yep. So we have an encyclopedia. And then you're going to the number on here. So again, it's all these little clues. Is this difficult for a lot of people to do? Uh, not really. They work together uh, when they communicate. It's a great team building experience, family bonding. Uh, and it's, it's funny. You think uh, the one person is going to shine. And, oh, that one's going to get everybody through. But it's really, it's everyone working together to figure it all out. They all add their little uh, uh, advice and ideas along the way. And they all work together to, to get out. Okay, eventually you're getting all these numbers that add up to different codes in order to somehow escape the room. And there's not just one room here. No, uh, we at Shocktoberfest have an eight-room escape room. So you go from room to room to room. Uh, so it makes it very interesting and unique and different. Okay, and again, this is the escape room at Shocktoberfest. We'll have more on all the Halloween festivities that are here for you and more yet to come. Eve Hossiel, back to you. It's not quite time to break out the Halloween costume, but Halloween festivities are up and running around the area. Shocktoberfest starts this weekend with haunted houses, laser tag, and plenty of zombies. Alexander Hogan's live in Sinking Spring checking out the action. Sounds fun and a little scary, Alexander. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Definitely scary. So the one thing that is probably most scary that's tapping into people's fears is, again, the haunted houses. And right now I'm standing in Unknown 2.0. That's one of their scariest places here at Shocktoberfest. Patrick's giving me a little tour. So what are we going to see here? So this is the fire room. A lot of people have the fear of fire. So we recreated a burnt room. When you come in, there's animatronics, there's the scenery, and the actors, and uh, we have the uh, smell of a fire room. So we, we hit them with all senses. Tapping into all of those different kinds of fears. Okay, so we're going to walk into this next room. So walking into here, I do have to advise people that if you don't like clowns, probably not the space for you. So when we're looking at this, how did you come up with all of these ideas? So for this haunt, uh, tapping into people's fears, we just learned and studied all about people's phobias and then recreated them, uh, taking them to the next level. So what scares you? <laughs> what scares me? Rain. <laughs> Rain scares me. If it rains, people don't come to Shocktoberfest. <laughs> so we, we like we like nice fall days. How do you <laughs> how do you find ways to scare people? You've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, this is our 26th year and. And uh, I'll tell you, it gets harder and harder every year. Everyone is looking for that next level. You got to keep uh, 
you know, just like amusement parks, they have to keep making bigger roller coasters. We have to keep making bigger haunted houses with bigger animatronics, more actors, bigger sets, and uh, it's a lot of fun. We keep uh, we keep trying trying to reinvent ourselves, and the, the customers uh, insist on it. So, but how is scary is too scary? Can kids come to this, or is this not child appropriate? Uh, we're not a spooky haunted house. That's like nine and under. We are a full on the haunted house. So nine, ten and up. We always recommend parents, you know, ask your kids if they want to come and then listen to your kids. So don't force your kids because that, that's a little tough. That's exactly. Little kids are not them. fans of clowns. You definitely don't want to bring them here. But I have to say a lot of these things, they look realistic. Those dead clowns that we were seeing. Tell me how these haunted houses have changed over the years. So we're using with more animatronics, we're uh, making more props out of silicone, which is very realistic and latex, and um, we're, we're just honing the craft and we're understanding what works and what's most effective and building on that knowledge. Again, this is Unknown 2.0 tapping into all of those unknown fears that people have, but there's more that will probably scare you at Shocktoberfest. Again, it opens this weekend. We'll have more on that coming up next. Eve Hasiel, back to you. Well, it's time for screams, thrills, and maybe even some zombies. It's not October just yet, but it is the first week of Shocktoberfest. And WFMZ's Alexandra Hogan's in Sinking Spring with more. Good morning, Alexandra. Good morning, Evan Hasiel. You can probably guess what I'm about to do considering what I'm wearing and holding. In the last segment, we saw some pretty creepy clowns, but here we're going to see some pretty creepy zombies. Right. So, Patrick, you're taking us through this laser tag. It's not only the bad guys you're trying to kill, but also the zombies. Right. This is a uh, ground assault zombie laser tag. Uh, we try to make the experience here at Shocktoberfest different every year mm -hmm. by adding new attractions, upgrading our current attractions. We added this new attraction last Last year, where we give you laser guns and headsets, and you can go around and you can shoot each other as well as the attacking zombies. And you often uh, think that laser tag's inside, but you're outside here running around. You're in the forest over there. Yeah, this is like a paintball course, really. Uh, and you do the laser guns, and uh, the laser guns they don't hurt quite as much <laughs> as the paintballs. They definitely the don't. So right. if I'm just gearing up, what am I aiming for here? All right, so you can shoot the uh, the tip of the gun or you can shoot my headset. Okay. And uh, it won't hurt me a bit. So if I, I'm going to try this, no aiming for your head. So instantly you're killed? I am. I'm, I'm down for a little bit. I have to run back, depending on how many lives I have, run back to base and then get some more lives and then go back and attack. There's different missions. And the zombies also have headsets. And if they get too close, they will also deteriorate your health. So teams of how big? So we can do about 40 on 40. This is uh, about 80. We have about 80 guns, and uh, it gets really, really competitive. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. So about 80 people out here. How many zombies are out here with you? So we all have 10 to 20 zombies all hiding, mixing around in, and attacking from every angle. All right. So I think zombies are terrifying. You work in the field of fear. Yeah. <laughs> so what scares you out here? Well, when we are uh, creating these different attractions we think about what scares us what scares uh, kids what scares adults we have to entertain kids as young as nine and adults as old as 60 we just get everybody out here and uh, we take everything into consideration and uh, we we give it all we, we give it all to them so whether it's zombies clowns uh, I guess really anything there's probably something here that scares you we'll have more on the new things this season at Shocktoberfest but for now we'll send it back to you guys the day. it's not quite time to break out the Halloween costume, but Halloween festivities are up and running around the area. Shocktoberfest starts this weekend with haunted houses, laser tag, and plenty of zombies. Alexandra Hogan's live in Sinking Spring, checking out all the action. Alexandra, good morning. Good morning, Evan Hasiel. So all morning, Patrick Konopelski, who is the owner of Shocktoberfest, has been finding ways to scare me. Right now, he's in this haunted hayride that we're going to go walk through with you. So if you come with me, I'm going to push this aside. This is a new element that they added on this year. Again, this is the end of the haunted hayride. So about 40 people will be in a trailer going through the park. 
And then this is the last thing that they'll see. So I probably wouldn't be out here if it was nighttime in the dark walking by uh, by myself. It's a little bit better with Zach with me, and it is daytime, so it's a little bit less spooky. But there's a lot that comes into this one. So there's Patrick. So normally, <laughs> thank you, you would be a zombie doing that. Yes, I would be a zombie, <laughs> blood, all the brain hanging out, yeah. But you get me. Well, I am definitely less <laughs> afraid with you, so thank you. If it was a zombie, I would have screamed, probably. You could run right out that door. No <laughs> and that's problem. where I would go. No problem. So this is the last element that people see. It's a new element year, this year, so always trying to scare people. But there's also the mud run that's coming up. Yeah, we have the zombie mud run, October 14th. It's a little scary, but more fun than scary. You get to run through the haunted hayride, uh, being chased by zombies. So 5K, that's tough enough as it is. Yeah. Now you have zombies chasing after you to get you to run a little bit faster. Gives you a little motivation to keep moving. When you want to take a break, slow up a little bit, there's a zombie around the corner, get you going. Yeah. Okay, so again, it starts Friday, 7 p.m. A lot of people come out. I'm sure you're excited. You've been doing this for more than two decades. Uh, 26 years. This is our 26th year. And every year it just keeps getting better and better, more fun. Um, we get to be like a creepy Walt Disney once a year and uh, see people come out. You work real hard, the whole team, and uh, there's nothing better when people come out and just have a great time and enjoy themselves because even though they get scared, there's always a laugh right after that scream. Exactly, and it's getting people in the spirit, so to speak, for Halloween. Again, uh, Shocktoberfest is in Sinking Spring, and that starts this weekend until... Uh, November 13th. All right. Again, Shocktoberfest starts this weekend. Are you Pasiel? Back to you.